Hi, my name is Ryan, Training Development Manager here at ProSpot. Today we're going to take a look at how to program the hot start function on the SP1, the SP2, and the SP5. In today's collision repair industry, the use of aluminum is becoming more and more prevalent, giving us the challenge in the collision repair industry to be able to properly weld and repair these new aluminum alloys being used. It is no secret that welding aluminum differs from welding steel. One of the biggest differences is the way heat is dispersed on aluminum. The heat rapidly transfers throughout the material, and because of this, we get what is known as a cold start. This causes a lack of penetration at the beginning of the weld and can also cause it to build up higher than we would like. To counter this, we can do one of two things. Either use the tail end method, where you start welding outside of the weld joint and move back once the aluminum is heated. So by the time you get to the joint, you know that you have proper penetration. The second thing that we can do is program the SP welder for a hot start function. This gives us the ability to up the amperage at the beginning of the weld and this is the cleanest way to program it and avoid the cold start. In order to program the hot start function, we're going to start from the main welding screen. We're just going to double check a couple of our settings to make sure that they match up before we go into the actual hot start setting. The first thing that we're going to check is in the upper left hand corner, we see that the wire is the 5554, which is the Ford wire, and that is the wire that's in the machine. We can also confirm that the machine is in a synergic pulse mode, which is correct. Once I'm comfortable with my settings there and know that they match what's inside the machine, we can go and hit the setup menu to get to the hot start programming. Once the setup list pops up, we're going to hit the setup button to scroll down until the graph appears at the bottom. You'll see that right now it shows 100%, which represents the original welding parameter on the main screen. Anything above 100% is when the hot start actually kicks in. So you'll see once I go above the 100% that it brings up the two other time options. If I hit setup and go to the first one, that's going to be the slope time for the hot start, meaning the time from when the hot start is completed until we're back at the original welding parameter. The bottom number is going to be the actual hot start time, so the actual time that the hot start is engaged before it goes to the slope and back to the original welding parameter. The percentage and the time that we end up setting the welder at before we actually weld on the car itself depends on the joint being welded and the thickness of the aluminum. So always make sure to practice to dial in the correct percentage and the correct time that matches the application that you are doing. 